Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome to Expeditions Rome. This game has recently dropped a demo over on Steam. I'll make sure to link it down below in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, but the game does release in January next year, and I'm actually really excited for something like this. This is a CRPG where you play as a Legatus as you lead your legionaries through, uh, I believe it's North Africa, Greece, and Gaul. Uh, so there's lots of kind of diverse stuff. It obviously said it's a CRPG. You have lots of decisions to make, and it just really kind of piqued my interest. I love Rome. I love Roman games. So I wanted to go ahead and dive in, mess around with the demo, and basically just see what this game does have to offer. Because I feel like we haven't really had like a, a Roman CRPG uh, ever. I don't think I've ever played one. Maybe there's a few out there, but. Personally, I'm actually really excited. This is made by THQ Nordic, so I thought we'd just dive in today and kind of mess around and see what the game has to offer. If it's something I'm going to be playing in the new year, uh, I would love to also get a sponsorship for a game like this because it actually does something that really does pique my interest. Uh, so let's go ahead and just dive in. And yeah, I believe we get to customize our own kind of leader of the legions, which is exciting. Um, and again, in we have lots to do. Lucius Licinius Lucullus. Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Skyewala had poisoned her husband and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. Boom. So yeah, as I said, we actually go ahead and get to name our character, which is really cool. I believe there's something like four or five companions in the game. So again, it'd be interesting to see hopefully more being added in the future so you can really customize your stuff. You obviously have your name as well. And of course, we have to go uh, with the old classic. Okay, so I went just to quickly go ahead and check the full name because I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, you can't change the family name, which seems a bit weird. They're like default family names, I guess, to kind of fit with the setting uh, of it. Because I guess people will be calling you by your family name and, uh, you know, these are all voice acted. Probably is the case. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to obviously name him Quintinius Lucinius Cato after the amazing Simon Scarrow books. Uh, but yeah, could not do that. So I don't really know what I want to pick from. So I guess we We'll just go Quint I mean Quintilius Quintilius doesn't sound too good uh, Septus is always good Romulus is always a nice one I don't know why I'm spending so much time talking about this I like Aquilus Aquilus is nice and our nickname will be Kato because uh, yeah why not uh, oh nice it's kind of cool you can kind of pick a female or male that's kind of cool uh, and you have several portraits to pick from uh, we'll see what ones we have access to that kind of looks like a nice little Kato to me like a young baby face even though now in the books he is quite a veteran soldier uh, that is for sure he has risen through the ranks uh, but I got this kind of yeah this kind of makes me think of Kato uh, oh, maybe that because he is quite grown up right now he obviously is super lanky um, we have a couple faces to pick from nothing too crazy um, again they all look the same in this one so maybe that hasn't been added in yet we have a few hairstyles oh my god that one looks appalling um, can we also just yeah just do that uh, and then hair he's like blonde in the in the show right in the in the books Oh, that is, is a bit of a rough hairstyle. Something like that, I think, will be fine. Long hair. Yeah, it does not look good whatsoever. Oh, my God. And then body height. He's like a lanky, lanky boy. Um, so, let's just go tall. And I think that's our boy. Uh, Sirt Wait, did I just change his name? No, it should be uh, Quintilius Oct... Oh my god, I uh, it completely reset it for some reason. There we go, just renamed him. I don't know why it reset, but yeah, it's all good now. So yeah, cool. I guess this is what we'll, we'll rock with for now, um, and we'll dive in. Uh, so each of these three perks unlock unique dialogue options to persuade other people in different situations. Think about what kind of character you want to roleplay as, and choose your reticule style accordingly. During the story, you may get a chance to master a second technique. So we obviously got like brute force, just try and punch our way through. That's not really Kato's style. I think logic is probably 
the way to go, kind of go for that logical thing. I think Kato is a very logical character, and then you can kind of go more of a charismatic one. But again, I think I think we're going to definitely go uh, Logos, uh, which is obviously logic. Um, I think that's kind of definitely his kind of character. Oh, and we get to pick our difficulty as well. We have the Augustus, Caesar, Pompus, and Gracchus. Uh, which is pretty cool. Combat deaths. Enable permanent deaths of party members. If they bleed out during combat, be warned. If a story companion or your own character dies, it's game over. Man, that is crazy. Non-story... Oh, okay, that's nice. So you have like non-story companions and also normal ones. That's interesting. But we'll just kind of go... We'll go normal difficulty. I've, I've not played this before. We'll check it out. Um, and yeah, we'll just leave it Iron Man off and also combat deaths off. But yeah, I really, really like that. It's kind of a cool system to have uh, in the game. And let's just continue uh, and we'll see. So I assume we're, we're trying to get this, uh, this, the dude's oldest daughter out of Rome. I assume that's what we'll be tasked you with. Hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. Yeah, it seems like uh, the, the names are probably like synced to something like that. And that's why uh, we have been uh, yeah, tasked with it. So uh, what should we say? I'm sorry, old friend. I guess I'm still thinking about what happened. Uh, I'm just stunned by the beauty of this sea. Look at how blue it is. It soothes the soul, doesn't it? I had come to think that this sea was so blue in my memories, only because I was young the last time I saw it. But I remembered right. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. So I wonder how uh, voice acted the game is, if it's all fully voice acted or if it's kind of like Path of Exiles where like the important stories are voice acted, but a lot of the mining stuff isn't. It'll be interesting to see what route they've gone uh, with this. Again, I I'm not too sure, uh, but I guess we'll find out in this. Um, so what should we say? Uh, he still claim just claims we are close to our destination. I uh, wish we'd never left Rome. Uh, I soon can wet my blade. Uh, I'll say I wish I never left Rome. The eternal city calls to me. It beckons. We had no choice. Whether you like it or not, Rome is your home no longer. It is up to you, however, to make it your home again. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He told me his name is Geminus. Okay, cool. And then we'll, obviously we have our, our special one, which we can do with, with Logos. And again, it does say that you can master a second one as well, which is quite cool. Uh, the man may guarantee uh, not to know our position. I will see if I can help if him work else, it out. You do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. That's oh, because you I'll be king of the pirates. Quintus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. Okay, cool. So we can ask some more questions as well, um, or we can just end the conversation. I kind of like how we like it is shown like that. That's kind of cool. Let's just maybe ask. Uh, there are so few passengers on this Your galley. Paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Oh, okay. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. So by the sounds of it, the other two who have joined the galley are probably also going to be our companions. But yeah, okay, so it's our sister that we've helped escape um, with our mother. We, we're obviously protecting her, I, I would assume. Um, so let's do just find out a little bit more. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. Cool, let's make our way out. So the quest markers pointed towards mandatory objectives and also optional ones. Uh, quest markers are only displayed um, in the current tracking quest, so down there in the bottom. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, WASD to pan your camera. Uh, F to make a camera follow your character again. Okay, cool. So we have, uh, yes, yeah, so we can move around. Can we rotate the camera? We can. We can zoom out as well and make our way up. So cool, so it's kind you of like... So it's kind of like divinity in that sense. Uh, it does feel like obviously we are moving slow. We're not sprinting yet. Uh, so who do we have? So this is uh, Quintus, who we have an optional quest to talk to. Uh, yeah. So thank him for helping us I get out. I see better than most. I'm glad. The timing was fortunate, but there is no need to thank me. The consul sent me to get you. Please, call me Kaiser, if it's not too familiar. Then you can call me Kato. You can indeed call me Kato. I'd better not. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't want to. God, I was going to say, who, who would say it? You know, uh, a nobleman and a uh, and a centurion finding their friendship. Can we go over our plan? Our departure was too fast, too hasty to discuss our course of action. Ah, 
She did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the Consul. You are to join his command staff as Tribunus. Oh, okay, so we're actually just playing as Tribunus. I, I, I read the description as we were playing as Legata, which is the leader of the Legionary, I believe. Um, but I guess maybe we'll work our way up uh, as we go through the Legions or something along them lines. But I know nothing of war, good sir. Don't worry. It's a purely ornamental position. It will prepare you well for a traditional political career. You will not see combat, nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe. As your mother wanted. Well, somehow I do not believe that will be the case. Um, this will be an excellent stepping stone to becoming a senator, uh, senator. If I'm going to follow the Legion around, I might as well make myself useful. I think so. I'm sure the Consul will find use for you. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. You'll get the hang of things quickly. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the Consul. Elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. Okay, I will do as good advice. For many years, I was the Primus Pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. Uh, will you be returning? The position has already been filled by one of my Centurionis. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. Oh, God damn. I Happy to be at your service. I, uh, I'm really digging this so far, honestly. I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. Okay. The young man over there, Gaius, is apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus as well. You should talk to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll have much in common. Boom, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Just make our way over now, I guess. Uh, we also can talk to Gaius as well. Was this the other guy we were just talking about? Who wants him dead. Shh, keep your voice down. Something about me being killed. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're going to get ambushed on this boat. There is no way about it. It's just typical game logic. Um, so, Salve, I don't believe it we've met. Pleasure. I am Gaius Julius Caesar. Oh, whoa, is that actually Caesar? God damn. Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. Oh, you will be one day, my friend. But just be careful about the Senate. That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. Is this like when he gets captured by pirates and then just is badass and makes them pay way more for him and then goes back and kills every pirate? Man, Caesar, what a man. To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. I did study a lot, though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. You have any advice for me, Caesar? Mm. If you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. My father used to say. I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. Okay. Yeah, well, hopefully you will not be stupid uh, and go to the Senate that day when you've been warned not to. My friend, it's like that. It's like that meme where it's like, like uh, when girls back in go back in time. It's like, oh, I'm your granddaughter. When boys go back in time, Caesar, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's talk to the sailor, the ship captain. Salve. What? Yes, Geminus. Salve. I'm a little preoccupied. Uh, the wind has been rather still today, hasn't it? I've noticed the oars have been out since early this morning. Is that what is causing our delay? <sighs> You're right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Do you finally see Levos on the horizon? No, we're being ambushed. Shit. They're headed straight towards us. They're gonna ram. How did your you... father's weapons? Let's see if you can actually fight. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like we just just arrived. Oh, them filthy, filthy Greeks. Look at them. How dare they? So we we'll get our first little glimpse of the combat momentarily. And here we go. Uh, so pe the preparation phase. Form up. Let's get these pirates off our ship. Before combat begins, you will often have time to organize your Praetorians into formation with an area highlighted in blue. Simply click on one of your Praetorians uh, and then click on where you want them to place. Okay, cool. So basically, it's like our deployment zone. In general, it's a good idea to put heavy machinery. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm a seasoned veteran of strategy games. 
don't you worry. Okay, so he, uh, that's kind of cool. It gives you a kind of nice little breakdown of what you have. So, I assume ordering, uh, ordering during combat characters can take actions in any order. For example, you could move a ranged character a few hexes towards an enemy, shoot them, and then move back again. Good to know. Ordering characters. You are free to swap between characters during your turn. For example, one character can move, another character can move. So basically, I go and then they go, it, it seems like, is how it how it's done. There's no, like, uh, there's no, um, there's no, like, um, I guess, order of battle. So I guess he's going to be our tank. He has two armor, 16 health, seems fairly fine. Uh, he has resistances, uh, which is pretty decent. Uh, and I can't imagine he does a lot of damage. Uh, we then obviously have my character. Not gonna, I don't really have any shields, so I'll stick myself back. We have Caesar, who I guess we'll stick there. Uh, we'll do something along them lines, I, I think is fine. We obviously have our abilities down the bottom. We have what we're equipped with, uh, and I think that's fine. There's also bombs as well. Okay, cool. Well, uh, yeah, so obviously you have to go there. So, yes, click you, click you there, probably stick you there, and Caesar's there. Okay, cool. Sounds good, okay. Attacking. To attack an enemy, first select which skill you want to use. Each skill can be used uh, once per turn. Many skills require a action point uh, and have limited charges. Seems perfectly fine to me. So you can see where we go. I believe there is also a way in the settings to turn on hexes, which I think actually might be a little bit nice to see. Let's see what the hexes look like. No, it doesn't show me the hexes. I thought it did. Uh, this also seems like I'll take an opportunity of attack if I go there. Okay, so what we want to probably do is throw our tank forward, and he has a brace ability. Uh, regains two stacks of strong. I don't know what strong is. I guess we'll probably find out. For each stack... Um, oh, here we go. For each stack, 25% of the shield. Uh, strength maximum is restored. Okay, so basically we can use that to get our abilities back. But what we'll do is we'll move up to here first. You can see there are moving points as well. So this guy has a lot less moving points. We can slash. We can shield bash. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll just slash. And we will, uh, yeah, do some damage. Only free damage, but hey, that's fine. And then that's him done, right? Okay. I and mean, we could move him again if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and maybe select um, Caesar now. We'll bring Caesar up to like here. And we have an ability on Caesar. Uh, not an arrow. We're waiting for an enemy to move it. So basically, this is like an Overwatch. Does quite a bit of damage. I could also crippling shot someone as well um, and reduce their movement. Or I could just shoot as well. Try and maybe kill this guy if we get lucky. Oh, there's actually no way we would kill that guy. Um, so maybe we just focus on someone else and like try and kill like this flank maybe where we don't have as much strong people. I think that's a sensible thing. Oh, there we go, Caesar. And we, uh, we what, affected their morale? Any status applied to a character will show up in their tooltip bar. Seems fine with me. Um, so positives are in blue, negatives are in red, neutrals are in uh, black. Okay, cool. And then what do we do to him? So we apply, so if we press E, we can see that. Um, so he is, he basically he'll take more, more damage. Seems fine with me. Okay, and then we could move him again. Um, why is it in yellow now, I wonder? Either way, we probably want to get a Caesar here so that he can just basically shoot anyone who comes into vision. Um, and then we'll move up this guy. Yeah, we'll move up this guy. Again, he can... Give movement to allies. Okay, that's pretty nice. You can also uh, re oh, so you can stand beside someone and hit them. So what we'll do is I'll probably knock this guy down. Um, untrained enemies. Whenever you kill or incapacitate an untrained enemy, characters such as civilians or militia, in case uh, the character who dealt the final blow will regain an attack action. Oh, hell yeah. Remember that any given skill can only be used once per turn, though. Oh, nice. So you could do some crazy stuff. So what we can do now is I can move this guy over here. And then, does that mean he can go again, though? And then we could also spend our kind of action point here to maybe give someone else plus two movement. Not that we really need it at all. Maybe on this guy, because this guy does have pretty bad... Oh, yeah, this guy does have pretty bad movement, so maybe giving it on him. And then we just have our character, uh, which I guess I'll just move up here. And just, we won't do anything for a turn. We can punch, we can stab. Nothing else to really do. I think that's our turn. Nice, okay, combat seems pretty fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing to, to, to spend our action points on, right? So, yeah, I, I don't care that we've uh, done that. Oh, we have a friendly guy over there as well. And then we got these allies as well. I mean, this seems like a pretty simple combat, but combat seems pretty interesting, especially I wonder how large scale it will get. I can't imagine it will get, like, particularly massive, but, like, it would be cool if there's lots of other stuff going on. There seems like there's a fair amount of enemies. 
And I think it'd be kind of interesting to have, uh, you know, way more going on. So he's going to come around. Hit Caesar. Caesar. Imagine if Caesar died and we had permanent death on. Just see you later, Caesar. I wonder how history would have changed. Uh, but yeah, no, dig this so far. I really like the aesthetic. gladiator who boarded with us. Up there. Up where? Oh, there he is. Never underestimate the value of an impressive entry. Hell yeah, Bestia. What monsters. We got him as well. So already I'm controlling five characters, uh, which is a pretty interesting setup. Uh, we should be able to make quick use of these guys. Uh, quick, yeah. So we'll take this guy down three to five. Hopefully it's a big number. Four. I'll take that. And then what we can do is we can do this. And then this guy gets to go again because he just got another kill. But he, can't, he can only use one ability one time. And then You're smash this guy down. Game. Weakened I him as well. Oh, yeah, which reduces one. his um, reduces his ability. Uh, we can also move up to here. I might as well move up to here. This guy can, like, help tank as well. Take some of the damage. Um, and then what we'll do is I will come around here. Oh, but I took an opportunity to attack because I went through an ally. Okay. Good to know. Uh, and then I guess I will uh, take care of this guy. Got my action back, but I don't have to use it right away. Oh, that's kind of cool as well. So you can see a few of them are like wounded. I mean, that guy is just straight up dead. Okay. I mean, I guess Caesar. Can I just shoot? Seems like I can. That guy seems a little bit tankier. Um, do I try and just finish off a guy? Maybe? Uh, so what does this guy have? So he does pierce and then focus. Okay. So I think what we, what we probably do is I go... Boom like that on that guy. Then I bring in this dude to here. And then what does more damage? Generate a focus. What does focus do for this guy? I wonder. Oh, it allows him to do like additional attacks. Okay. Um, and then that guy's 4 HP left. So do I make sure I try and kill him? No. Oh, nice. We got lucky on that. So then he gets another ability. And then can... Oh, whoa. This is multiple use? This is all too easy. Oh, he attacks with both. And now he has plenty of focus. Yeah, we'll just keep on pumping in damage on this guy. Why not? Interesting. And yeah, it's just completely free. Okay, that's everybody, right? No, this guy still has an attack. Oh, I still have an attack. Because I killed someone? Did I kill someone? Anyway, I guess we'll push up. And be careful not to die. Oh, we flanked him as well. What does flanking do? Uh, Yeah, they just have no resistance if they're flanked. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Just straight up punch that guy, throw some hands. Uh, and then, yeah, that's our... That's our go. Seems pretty decent to me. Is there a way to get, like, the status effects above them all the time, maybe? Gold markers always shown, tutorials on, all that stuff's on. Miscellaneous, maybe? Um, We can also speed up combat. That's really nice to have a speed up in combat. Just, like, you know, when you get a bit bored of the animations. Let's get on 1.5. The arrow's coming in. Oh, my God. Our main guy is taking a smashing. But there's none of them left now, so we should be fine here. Um, yeah, we should be more than good. So is that his focus or is that his armor, I wonder? That's probably his focus, right? So maybe I can just finish this guy off? If I roll good, that's him done. No, and we can just... Oh, we can't even punch him either. Okay, that's fine. But what we could do is stab... Is this like an AoE? Oh, it is an AoE. Oh, that, that affects multiple targets. Nice to know. So if we can kill this guy, then he can run up there and AoE both of them. Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's finish this guy off uh, like so. We'll use you to come up here and reach over and finish that guy off. Boom. Then we'll bring up Caesar like here. And I guess we'll shoot that guy. And then we'll bring up this guy to here. And then we'll slash. No, slashing. Yeah, affects both of them. Oh, Just nice. And then we will smash him. I could have maybe have healed, but I think it's, it's fine. Does anyone else have an ability? I and mean, then he has an ability left because he killed someone. So he can make his way up here and finish off. <laughs> Clean. Boom. Just like that, we take down the enemies. So nobody leveled up or anything. Um, but yeah, we've kind of got a few more of our companions. Which is good enough for me. Better Neptune's asshole, barbarians. Said like a true centurion. Triacus run us straight into the pirate ambush, Spielman. 
Allow me to execute him right here, right now. This traitor must be working with them. Um, so we can say, I believe so as well. It's too great a coincidence. We sailed to join a war against pirates. It's no, uh, it's not so surprising that we would be attacked by pirates on the way. Be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship, let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well. Let's go talk to the man. Yeah, I mean, obviously he was definitely acting very, very suspicious beforehand when we when we first erupted him. And there you go, boom! We got our like little party together. Let's go see what he has to say for himself. You steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it. I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You utter nonsense. By Mars, it is the sea. How can anyone? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. What do you say, kid? Now, I just, uh, I want to quickly just turn the music down a tad. It seems like a little bit loud. Hopefully, it's okay for you guys. So, turn the voices uh, and just turn down the music just a tad more. That should be fine. Uh, so what should we say? Him, what do we say? Uh, why are you asking me? You are the prim Primus. Uh, this kind of decision is your responsibility. Uh, why do you want him dead, gladi Gladiator? Gaius, if the pirates don't attack ships, as you say, why would these ones make an exception? Uh, because they obviously need to be executed. Uh, what's done is done. There's nothing to gain from execution. Uh, so let's find out what Gaius has to say. We are many of us important people. On our way to... God, the music is so loud. <laughs> I apologise. Is that even like applying? Join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. We are close to our destination. And we can reach it without him. If there is a possibility that he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy, doubt, hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty this sure. Man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. I'm pretty sure he probably is working with the enemy, but what what can we do? You know, we need him. He's a sailor. And also, he cannot execute a man with no evidence, as Caesar says. We are Roman. We are civilized beings, after all. So what is done is done. There is nothing to gain from his execution. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. Um, so we can say, I disagree. The cost of mercy is a price I will always be able to pay, perhaps. But in this case, we certainly can't afford to lose him. Uh, we still have to reach Lesbos. A wise choice, my friend. Killing the Triarchus of our ship in the middle of the sea would have been inconvenient, indeed. And I imagine... If you ever again need the help of a skilled navigator, I am at your service. So he gained uh, some bonuses. Right. Up the tempo. Keep your eyes open. Boom, quest succeeded. Pirates of the Mediterranean. Interesting. Yeah, so we got some approval for some people. So I wonder how that's going to affect us later on down the line. And now we can choose our class. Okay. So well, there's three classes or four classes in the game. Uh, so we can be, what is this? So we can be a, a Principus with a subclass, Defender or Vanguard. Uh, we can be a, like a, a rogue type character an archer or we can be a like a buffing range character i mean anybody who doesn't pick this one is probably not a cool kid right so this is like a tank one but i think we're obviously going to go down like more of the uh, vanguard one wait did it change every time no yeah so defender vanguard or veteran i think i mean i think you have to pick this one right like, that is the true Roman way. Archer, you've got kind of like a pole arm, which just buffs people. Yeah, I mean, definitely, right? 
So class weapon shield provides extra bar of hit points. Get some good abilities. This gives you dagger and can dual wield. And I mean, like, spear's kind of cool as well, I, I guess, like, to buff people. But yeah, I think definitely this one. There's no other way uh, we can pick. And then we have to pick some skills. Oh, oh we then pick our subclass. Interesting. So uh, we have defender, focus on survivability and protecting allies. I mean, the other guy is already that, so we don't need to worry about that. Charge into the fray and excel when using their shield as a weapon. Uh, or veteran, lock down enemies and resist enemy attempts to do the same. So we, so basically, I don't think I'm going to be defender because we already have that other guy who is a defender. Uh, we have this one, which reduces morale of all enemies in range. Or we can knock down um, to take any actions, can't block, dodge, parry, or resist. Standing up will cost half their movement. I mean, these two are both really cool. We'll pick Vanguard, I think. Right? We pick this one? Yeah. We have to hold down left click to pick it. Yeah. Oh, we can pick two? Or not? Oh, yeah, we just pick one. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll subclass into Vanguard. That seems kind of fun. Moving in, reducing enemies' morale. I mean, knockdown also sounds pretty good, dope, but yeah, I think that's what we're going to rock with. Cool, nice. Well, yeah, this is uh, this is really fun so far. And I don't know how long the demo actually is. It was a fairly big download, so I assume it's, it's a decent size. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. If this video does well, I'd be ha more than happy to continue this on. Uh, as far as the demo allows me to go. So, yeah, we've just arrived on Lesbos into the uh, the Roman camp. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. The Legion Gentlemen, at welcome work. welcome to Lesbos, the pearl of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply then. You think like an Imperator, Gaius. All right, people. This is Lucullus's war camp, the heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The consul waits in the command tent. Oh, Caesar's already run off. I want to see him angry. Okay, so uh, find and talk to Lucinius. Okay, we can do that. Is it like a map mode, or is it just like a... Yeah, guys. So we obviously see he's up here. Is there anything else we, we can go and look at for now? I don't think so. There's some siege artillery being built there, obviously, for horses, for the scouts. Uh, I mean, let's head off down here. There's obviously more conversation. I guess this conversation here as well. Domine. So it's basically normal stuff right there. Okay, cool. Anything interesting? I guess we'll go speak to, uh, yeah, speak to the, uh, the, the head of the legionary right now. We'll go see Lucullus. How long are they going to keep us here? It's driving me crazy too. I mean, what is it? Sure, F to move then? The yeah, and oh, also, did we level up? What is this? Oh, this is. Yeah, just giving us our idea about our quest as well. Trial by fire. Cool. Did you tell the he Let's head our way in and speak to the man. To work, as long as the rebels keep receiving supplies by sea. We will need to cut their supply lines. It's an operation for our occultus speculatoris. Um, are they Lu uh, Lucilius? Five we have arrived. Later, you sure have grown up, haven't you? This is the promising young man I was telling you about, Thermos. Quite unassuming, but full of potential, I guess. Prime material for the speculatories, if he can prove himself. Uh, let's find out what this is, because I don't personally know. Even though it'd be kind of stupid for our character probably not to know. A special cohort assembled for particularly daring undertakings. Soon enough, you shall see the kind of thing they are tasked to carry out. Um, uh, just tell me what I need to be done. Gladly, the chance to prove myself is what I've come for. I think definitely, for sure. Uh, I, you know, obviously, I think our character, uh, if we're role-playing him, would probably be like, oh, what? I, I want to be a senator. But no, gladly, I'm here to prove myself. I am ambitious. Uh, alongside my best friend, Julius Caesar, we will rise to a top together. <laughs> there will be ample opportunities for that, my young ward. A trial by fire is what you need. Now pay attention. We've been in a deadlock here on Lesbos for some time now. My co-consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotter, is engaged against King Mithridates of Pontus in the east. Mithridates is using the pirates of Lesbos as his navy. The fortress of Mytilene here is well protected, but it also has a weakness. There's a mountain pass we can utilize. I will lead the assault myself. I volunteer for the vanguard. If my uncle can defeat Pontus, I can surely handle Mutilene. So be it, then. Meanwhile, you will prove yourself as a leader, my young ward. 
Take Caeso Quintius Aquilinus, your servus Cineros, and that gladiator who came with you on the ship. You will meet up with Julius Calidus of my legion speculatories. Your mission is to sneak into the harbor and destroy the enemy ships any way you can. I expect you have questions. Oh, uh, nah, let's just do it. <laughs> of course we have questions. Um, so... I was to serve you with Triburnus. Uh, why can't I take the main assault like Gaius? I prefer to choose my own people. All of this is just secondary operation to uh, Cotter's campaign. Uh, let's see, let's see the sub one because that's what we were promised. If you're worried about your future political prospects, have no fear. We will tell everyone you served as my Tribunus with great distinction. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I need anything. I mean, we'll find out maybe a bit more about the campaign. Why not? That doesn't make what we're doing any less important. Mithridates has a dozen warriors for each of our legionari. Defeating Pontus will require patience and caution. Regaining control of the Agaia Mari is a crucial step in cutting off Mithridates' supply lines. Oh god, man, the way these guys speak as well is so awesome. Uh, yeah, no, no more questions. I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to, to talk. Wait, are those your father's old weapons? I'm sure they mean a lot to you, but look, the leather is brittle. This won't do. Visit my smith, Sextus, and get yourself properly equipped before you go. Uh, of course. So when you're ready to leave an area, look for this icon on the world map. Sounds good. Uh, we can talk to a few other people as well. I guess we'll see what Caesar has to say as he leads the main so vanguard. Uh, I mean, leading the vanguard is an honorable... Also, as well, I believe uh, later on in the campaign, I assume when we probably rise to to the power of being able to, you know, command a legion or be heavily involved in commanding a legion, uh, we actually get to edit and like upgrade the war camp, recruit lead, like re like kind of edit our legions as well, uh, which all sounds really, really exciting. Um, you're an interesting, interesting. man, guys. <laughs> to the extent of yeah, my okay, knowledge cool. and ability, war camp looks like a town itself. To be as fascinating, isn't it? The legion can build a fortified camp like this almost overnight. In my opinion, that is the foundation of Rome's military might. Very Wait, true, Gaius. One day... if I have offended you, now that I know the nature of our relationship better, I shall not bother you. Oh, was I click? No, I'm sorry, Gaius. No, it's what? Shall we? That is good oh, to yeah. hear. Sorry, Gaius. Keep in mind the matter I'm about to mention is rather personal in nature. Your discretion would be appreciated. Of course. I've been keeping a detailed account of our journey ever since we left port. Shortly after our arrival, however, the journal went missing. I believe it to be stolen by one of the Kenturiones. Okay, are you sure it was I'm stolen? I'm reasonably sure. The journal might be misplaced, but I find this to be improbable since I write regularly. I have seen a particular man walking out of my tent. As a matter of fact, I have already confronted him and he pretty much admitted his guilt. Pain comes in many forms, physical, Emotional, and let us say that some men just enjoy inflicting pain in all forms. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do. The Kenturio is called a gripper, I think. He hangs out with his friends near the tent over there. I thought perhaps you could convince him to hand over my journal. Needless to say, I would like to keep the contents of the journal private. I would appreciate if you'd refrain from reading it. I hope there's like a ton of fanfic inside of his, uh, in, inside of his journal. Uh, cool. Uh, so what he's, that's where we go for that. We need to go to the smith as well. Is that a gripper? That's a gripper right there. And we have Sextus the smith right there. Cool, perfect. There is no like world map by the sounds of it, but let's make our way over. I mean, we're currently in our senator clothes, so we probably should address in something a little bit more fitting. Salve, Legionari. If you're here to get your weapons fixed, you must have me confused with Vulcan. Uh, they are my father's weapons with a forearm like that, such a delicious beard you are to blame for making a mistake. Um, these are my father's weapons. Was he buried with them? This leather is fossilizing. I'm sorry. Help yourself to any of the gear on the racks. Take all of it if you need it. Can I commission him for something? Uh, I have enough work on my hands right now supplying the consul's Kenturiones. Okay, fair enough. So we can interact, uh, just highlight the all key. Cool. Sounds good enough to me. Um, so what do we pick up? So we can just basically cheese. So I'll take that, that, and that. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll take everything. Yeah, I mean, I guess we take everything, right? I mean, how do we how do we equip? What is the uh, is? Can we, yeah, here we go. I to equip, and we can basically just yeah set ourselves up. Okay, cool. So obviously we'll take 
Uh, so when you equip weapons, they give you access to skills. Seems fine to me. Item skills. Uh, each character can carry two sets of weapons and can swap freely. That's kind of nice. So we can obviously change between. Let's get ourselves that shield. Obviously, we're going to wear that nice little armor. And then we'll apply the secondary weapon as well. Yeah, Gladius 1, Gladius 2. And this gives us slash and a better ability. Okay, so how do we equip the secondary weapon? Is there a way to do that? It said we could equip two, did it not? Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, and you can do this as well. Swap weapons, perfect. Okay, boom. Nice. Oh, god damn, we look badass in our in our armor. Hell yeah. Unless you can also equip everybody else's as well if you need to. I mean, it might not be a bad idea to give uh, our dude here the uh, the special weapon, but the, the spear. That's fine. Then we can take a look at skills as well. So skill trees look pretty vast, honestly. Um, yeah, the square ones are what active skills, and these ones are like more passive abilities, uh, which seem fine. You can see everybody does have a pretty nice one, and I assume we'll end up being able to go into different Vanguard abilities as well. Okay, that's pretty dope. I like that. I like that. Uh, we have uh, this is a menu where you can treat injuries. Okay, so people can get injured. That's kind of cool. And just have base stats as well. And then perks. Oh, nice. You can get pick up, pick up some perks as well. Nice. Cool. All sounds pretty decent. We have our money up here, our slaves, our rations, and medicine. Again, I'm pretty sure when we get to a point where we're leading, like, the camp or the legion or you know, whatever we're doing, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this stuff will become way more important. We'll have to, like, pay the men uh, and do way more stuff there. Uh, let's just try and help Caesar out whilst we're here. Why not? We're in the middle of something, Tribune. What do you want? Also, this guy needs to watch his, his mouth. He would be vlogged for this. This? Ah, but this is priceless. A journal written by Cotter's stupid nephew, who thinks of himself as the greatest commander history has ever seen. <laughs> well, let me tell you, my friend, you're going to be sorely, sorely mistaken. Uh, what else does he say in there? He also happens to be my friend, so it's just you hand it over. Why don't you send him back here to beg for it again? Um, I mean, surely we could just, like, tell, like, surely this guy could get in a lot of trouble for doing this. Uh, he sent me instead, and his reward for returning as general. Caesar might not seem like much now, but he is a uh, tribunus, and he uh, has friends in high places today. Blue-eyed rookie is tomorrow's imperator. Uh, what more? He strikes me as a man who forgives easily and remembers those who serve him. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll go with a logical one. Mm, all right. I guess you rich kids stick together. Take it. And let's not speak of this again. Okay, well, boom, we got his, his journal back. I wonder if there's like, this is like always passes or if that is like something that, um, you know, might fail. Like if there's like, you know, options like fail that or if that's just like, oh, you automatically pass it. Because it would kind of be kind of lame if you just always pass it, if you pick that decision. Like it'd be nice if there were options so, to fail. I see um, you've successfully retrieved my journal. Um, May I ask how you managed I punched it? him hard and he gave it back. He was just being unreasonable. Uh, I kept my cool. And made him see reason. What can I say? I'm not surprised. One last question before we're done. Did you read my journal? Uh, I have no interest in your private messages or musings, sorry. Because uh, it was definitely fanfic about me and him on the boat. Fair enough. No matter where your interest lies, I thank you for helping me. Boom. So, quest completed. We all uh, gain uh, 10 experience. I think that's enough to level us up but enough to push us forward. Um, and then I guess we're almost ready to leave camp, right? Uh, so we enter the world map. Okay, cool. Let's have a look what this has to offer uh, and see uh, see what we get to see here. So on the world map, the world map where you'll be traveling between known locations, click the play button to unpause time. Uh, characters and legionaries only move when time is passing, uh, but you have uh, not uh, yeah, time to move. Um, as time passes, impending events will appear on the right side of the timeline and move towards the left side, which represents the present. Uh, some events may come as a surprise. This is really cool. I like this a lot. Uh, rations. During your travels, you and your Praetorians must uh, consume rations every eight hours, keeping your pantry well stocked. Uh, uh, starving. Uh, yeah, so if we get starved, we fight badly. Okay, cool. And here we go. So where are we heading off to? The warehouse? Or is this where we are right now? Yeah, so that's where we're going. Uh, yeah, this is where we are. And I assume this is where we're, we're heading to the warehouse right now to cut off the, uh, the town's food supplies. But yeah, no, I really like this. It's kind of a lot of traveling. There's obviously the main uh, army's war camp, which is sieging the city. So if we make our way over there and then we click play. 
You can see us moving. And again, this will be really cool when you're like actually commanding troops and stuff. And you're actually like moving your legions across the map. So we are here. The Pirates of Lesbos have been uh, storing something valuable in the warehouses. Let's enter. We obviously have to take everybody here. And I guess let's get ready to make our move. We might be at the wrong spot. There's no one here. Uh, Lucilia said his agent would be here. Lucullus is clearly mistaken. If there was someone here, I would know. That's a very useful skill. Hey, don't move. Calm down. I am Julius Calidus of the Occulta Speculatores of Legio Prima Italica. Oh, God, I God mean, damn. Getting goosebumps, God damn. Uh, I'm not your reinforcements. I'm a new Primus. Um, impressive. I didn't see you at all. We were told to run and date a view with you. The only way I can think of to destroy a navy on foot is to burn it down. Some Greek fire sure would be useful for that, wouldn't you say? Oh, almost certainly. There is a whole warehouse full of it right down there. Unfortunately, the moment we move into that warehouse, they will sound the alarm. So we should be quick. Sounds straightforward to me. All right, let's go then. There's a small camp of sentries just down this hill. If we hit them first, they won't show up as reinforcements. But then the ones inside the warehouse will hear the fighting and be ready for us. You have touched the matter with a needle. The choice is yours, Prima. Okay, cool. So we have, like, many ways to approach it. Do we, like, attack the warehouse and try and get out quickly? Or do we uh, do move in and, uh, yeah, just straight up attack right away? I mean, it's an interesting one. So, what, this is, like, our... So this is the reinforcement? Yeah, optional. Deal with the sentries outside the warehouse, or do we just go straight in and obviously then they'll be prepared? Um, I think probably we just... Ah, what do we do? Do we go straight in or do we deal with... Let's deal with uh, the sentry outside. It will make them prepared inside the fortress, but I think fighting less inside the warehouse will be better. So what happens here? Like, do we just, like, attack and initiate combat? Or, or what? It also seems like there's a lot of, like, maybe Greek fire here we could actually use against them as well. So we just initiate combat like so. The Romans are here. How did they get so close? So let's push both our... So we'll take our, our both our... So obviously myself uh, and also the other tank will go there. Archer there. And then you, you there will be fine as well. So let's get you right there as well. Perfect. Seems good enough to me. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's push up and start getting stuck in. Um, so we actually have a few... So this is me actually, sorry. Okay, and he can get to like... So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop his ability to give us plus two movement. I'm going to give our plus two movement to us. Oh, it gives it to everybody? Oh, that is really nice. Yeah, so we're going to go like here. Uh, so in, if a character is adjacent to cover, they are protected from his attacks. Okay, interesting. Uh, from over a side. Yeah, so cool. That's nice. And then we'll just push up here so we can deal with this guy a little bit more effectively. Uh, so we'll strike him down right away. Uh, then... Um, range attacks require a clear line of sight. Good to know. Optimal and maximum ranges. Cannot miss. And then, okay, cool. So there's a bit more there. And deflection from shields. So we're starting to get a bit more from the combat, uh, which seems fair. I'm just trying to think of, like, how we can deal with these guys. I can't get there. Yeah, so none of these guys can really get up here anyway. So what we might as well do is we'll push our arch, like, here. Can she, like, hit anybody? Yeah, so she could shoot him and 100% get him. She also has, what, fire arrow as well to apply bleeding. Seems pretty useful, but it takes up uh, her special ability. It's like a square as well. Unit cost. I'm not sure what the special bar is, like the square is. We'll just fire off a volley there. I don't think anyone else can even get to him either. And also, I'm not sure what the, like, the yellow bar is as well. Either way, we'll move up here and we'll, we'll all do the killing blow. Take that guy down. We do get our action back as well. So yeah, what happens? Does it take up an action point if I move here, maybe? Uh, yeah, it does. Oh, so it takes up the action to move up closer. Interesting. Uh, so we'll just move, obviously, everybody a little bit closer. Oh, nice. And this guy can actually get in as well. Perfect. That's awesome, man. Because then he can take care of this guy without too much trouble. 
uh, and we gain. So focus is unique to light infantry characters. Many skills are obviously improved by it. Every time a light infantry makes an attack, they gain focus. Uh, and obviously more focus they get, the more damage they can do. Wait, you didn't kill him! Oh my god, that guy sucks. And then there's no way he can get up here. But I believe, yeah, he's already used his focus. So. so that must mean he doesn't have like an attack point or something. So we'll get you like there. And we'll just push her up as well. Ah, that guy might come in. I'm not sure how far he moves. As I say, he's only moved three. Uh, either way, we'll probably just sit on this guy uh, right there. Yeah, and you can't move up at all. Um, and, I, and I don't want to take the opportunity for attacks or end the turn there. Oh my god, there is a lot of them up here. I'm kind of glad that... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that we didn't uh, fully assault. Because if these guys reinforced, that would have been pretty risky. So it's our turns. We can definitely deal with this guy. The question is, who do we want to get the kill? We have our archer as well. So we could really, like, rack up some good points. I mean, I think I want to basically ignore this guy and focus this guy down as much as possible. Um, yeah, let's do so. Of course, that guy's down to one, which is nice. Obviously, we need to take care of this guy. So finish this guy, take on this guy. Seems good to me. Uh, so let's use this ability here. Oh, this attacks two targets as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. So let's do that. He gets his focus point back. You come up to here and then you can slash both of these guys. Oh, no, not quite. That's annoying. Um, hunker down is good. Devastating strike. Is this me? This is me as well. Applies deflect multiple times. Just trying to think of who I want to use, like, use the second ability. It's like kind of an interesting setup. Ideally, I would maybe want the archer to do it, actually. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I mean, we can definitely kill that guy. So we slash you, I think. Oh, it's so annoying I don't have them set up like that. So we'll take you out, get the point back. And it was a critical as well. And then we'll slash this guy. Uh, which is good. Then I guess you can come in. And just whap this guy on the head. And then, yeah, then you can make your way over here. And maybe hit that archer. Nice. Can I get my ass over? Okay, so I can move up into cover, I guess, which is a little bit nicer. And then you can get over here and probably deal with that arch. I mean, but then I'm going to get smashed by the other guys. And then we can four it? Nah, oh, so close to killing him. I mean, he still does have an attack as well, but he can't get over here. So either he goes and focuses down that guy, and we'll get you up here as well. Yeah, I'm scared this guy's going to get, like, smashed down. I guess then up this guy comes up here. He has shield push and then just normal slash damage. Okay, take out his armor. So shields can block certain amounts of damage. I mean, that all sounds pretty pretty normal. Um, yeah, I mean, Strong just replenishes it. Cool, sounds good to me. Unless everybody use their action. Yep, okay. I feel like this guy... Oh, nice. He actually managed to get what the opportunity of attack, probably. Yeah, he's going to get hit hard. Oh, he's almost dead as well. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, yeah, he's literally on one HP. That should be fine, though. So let's just, uh, yeah, give him the old left, right, good night. I can do that. And then we have to do this attack because I can't slash. I don't want to attack other people. And then we'll rush up here and uh, get into combat with that guy. Our archer will, I guess, make his way, make her way around the side here. And we'll just take a shot into the back of this guy. Well, zero chance to succeed, really? Why? Because he's, like, bunkered down, maybe? Why is that? Is it because he's, like, routing? Oh, he's panicked. Cannot take an action at the beginning of the turn. But he's also got strong on. Okay, so he just gets hit hard. Interesting. Um, can this guy come in and, like, attack him from the back, maybe? Because he's panicked, so I should be fine. And now he's flanked as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he's getting hit hard. Can this guy then run away? Yeah, he can. Nice. So yeah, and you just you're moving to run away. I don't know why this person can't. There you go. Now I can hit him. Uh, glancing blows. I, I glanced off his armor by the sounds of it. And that reduces damage. Deals a lot less damage. I'm stuck in there. Cool. Every man for himself. So he's running away. Took five damage. The archer runs away to obviously shoot me. Oh, what a shot. Okay, so we need to heal him. Do I have any... I don't know anyone who can heal him, right? So he's just down. 
Yeah, I have nothing to heal him right with. Oh, man. What a shame. And we still have to take on the main uh, place yet. So we'll take this guy Just out. One more left. Come on. We can do this. And then, obviously, we'll go and deal with this archer as well. Um, do I have anything that can kill him? Probably not, right? But then I'll kill him when he uh, when he comes off. Okay. It's fine with me. I doubt the archer can get into a decent enough position without shooting friendly units, but maybe she can. Uh, yeah, I mean, she just couldn't just one bang him. Nice. Well, we've taken care of these guys, but at a pretty heavy cost. Um, and no one was on. It's just everybody was uninjured. So I guess maybe they weren't. They're not incapacitated. Okay, is there any like loot to be had here? I'm not sure how like I highlight anything if there's like a highlight button. Doesn't seem like there's any loot on the ground. Oh yeah, maybe there is. Okay, there you go. Is there a way to like highlight it? So we can have uh, some equipment sets and also some extra stuff. So we'll take all of that. Also rations. Oh, another equipment set there. Okay, so I assume that's everything. Any Everybody's stuff was just on him. Like it just looted me everything that was around, uh, which seems pretty good. Um, and yeah, there's some new stuff here. So could he equip that? No, it does have the arrows showing what's better and what's worse. But yeah, that spear is better than the one he has. That's one to five. That's two to five. So yeah, take take that spear. Why not? Anyone else has anything better? So it's a bit of a better shield for him, but it's bloody Greek. Why would we want that? We're Roman. I mean, that just does not look as cool. So definitely going with the cool factor for sure. Um, and he has like no better ropes as well. Uh, and what does this do? A strong mesh of metal rings can be used to craft. Okay. Um, the alchemist equipment. What does that do if we read it? Uh, I, oh, I learned to craft these weapons. Okay. So we'll learn them books, I guess. And then this stuff is used to actually craft that stuff. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, what, nobody leveled up yet either? Must be close, right? Yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, well, okay, guys. Well, I think that is where we're going to wrap up this first little look at um, Expeditions Rome. If you guys want to see me take on the warehouse, make sure you go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this as well in the comments down below. I'm going to drop a save and I'll be more than happy to continue this on if that's what you guys want to see. Again, I'm not actually sure how long the demo is, but if there's still more to play, I'd be more than down to do so. So let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments, like I just said, and I'll see you guys in the next one.